get up on this. I'll show you. Who said that you need a piece of stone to get a nice back crust? Nobody say anything. All right. Hi, you guys. <laughs> All right. Who said? Let me show you guys. Let me show you guys. Let me try to flip you guys over. Who said? Who said? All around. My G. <laughs> My G. This is dark enough crust for you. <laughs> How many fails? 101 fails already. And I got a bunch of heat. And look at my crust. Look at this back crust now. Look at this. Look at this. <laughs> Alright. Anybody that doubted Quan Tran last night on the New York style pizza will apologize tonight. You dig? <laughs> you guys got me steaming, right? <laughs> this right here, guys, is gonna be the best. This is legit the best. I'm pulling out the big guns right now, guys. You see this gun right here? I'm pulling the big guns right now. I'm gonna show you guys how to cook the best New York style pizza ever at home without a, what is that called? Piece of stone? No piece of stone here, guys. Don't blink! Hey, hey, hey. Also, guys, if you guys wanna learn this recipe, I'm not gonna put any more recipes on top of these screens here no more. You guys gotta pull out pen and paper right now, guys. Pull out pen and paper right now, and don't blink! <laughs> Piece of dough, new and improved. Three cups of plain white flour going in, all right? Into your mixer, you gotta need a mixer for this. If you knee hand this, or you need, not knee hand, if you need this with your hand, it's gonna take a while, all right? You guys got me steaming last night, guys. You guys got me steaming last night. Okay, do this, one tablespoon yeast, okay? You guys got a pen and pencil? Pen and pen, pen and pencil, you guys got it? All right then. Tablespoon, sugar, do this. Half tablespoon, salt, you know this. I'm gonna be your pizza guy after this episode, right? You know the vibes. <laughs> yeah, mix this in. <laughs> Nobody said that wrong. Sorry guys, I apologize. Just a little steamy right now. Okay, we're gonna stir this, mix it. Right, guys, I just kinda think about it, I'm like, people who complain do they only eat at one pizza stall in New York? <laughs> Everybody has their twist, their take on New York style pizza. If you guys go to New York and you tell me New York pizza all tastes the same, what's the point of going to New York and trying their pizza? I'd rather just buy it uh, frozen and online, guys. Come on. Everybody has their twist, their take, their story behind their dough, their sauce, their cheeses, all right? Sausages to meat and everything, all right? To this dough, one tablespoon oil. Push this up. This is my bag and recipe, my Vietnamese baguette recipe right here. So if you guys wanna make baguettes too, you guys can use this recipe for Vietnamese baguettes as well. But I'll show you guys later, okay? We're gonna put this on the mix. New York got me steaming. I got some cold water here, which I'm just gonna dump in slowly while mixing slowly as well, okay? You know the vibes. <laughs> okay, yesterday, I googled, or not googled, I YouTube, you, uh, not YouTube, <laughs> I YouTube New York slang, just to, just to say it to you guys today, alright? I wanna be a new New Yorker, right? This is gonna be a nice New York style pizza, okay? See, you guys got a pen and pencil? One and a half cup of water, slowly add it in, okay? Once you got that going, we're gonna mix this for about 20 minutes, all right? Any New Yorkers out there that was after me last night about my crust, y'all gonna apologize today. <laughs> cheese. Some of you guys are complaining about my cheese too, like we don't use any cheese that's already shredded. All right then, all right then. We got some mozzarella cheese from Sapato. Best cheese out there, or best mozzarella cheese out there. I'm just gonna shred this. I got you, New York. I got you. You know what? That's what I kind of like about New York. You know? They're straightforward, they're blunt, and they'll tell you you're ugly. When you're ugly, you're ugly. <laughs> they're straightforward. That's what I like. That's what I like. You know what? Maybe I'll visit New York one day, guys. Alright? And taste the New York style pizza. But I'll guarantee you this. I bet 100%. I bet 100%, guys. I bet $1.45. That. 
every restaurant, every establishment that makes New York style pizza tastes different. Okay, I know some of you guys, or the, the majority of you guys that are complaining about this ain't New York style pizza, I'm, I'm telling you right now. How many New York style pizza have you tried? Like how many restaurants have you been to? There's one person out there, big shout out to, what's his name? Or her name. Big shout out to Brian New York. He or she said, good job. By the way, there's no such thing as authentic. I could take you to Brooklyn, to Queens, to SI, to Bronx, to Manhattan. They will all taste different with their own style. And that's absolutely right, guys. This is what food is all about, guys. Not having the same style as anybody. You know, you know that phrase, um, best food ever, or best thing ever, or best thing ever eight. That phrase wouldn't e be even existing if everybody had the same style, recipe. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You know the vibes. <laughs> My guy, you guys are straight. No, 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 not all New Yorkans, okay? The ones that are just complaining every single time. You know, I got you, okay? Okay, hands wash. Let's grate some cheese. My G. All right, mozzarella shredded. All I'm gonna do now, get some fresh mozzarella because I like the different contrast or taste and texture in these two mozzarella here, okay? The fresh mozzarella does have a different taste, more creamy, more milky than this mozzarella here. So that's why I like using both of it. And we're just doing all cheese today, all right? You know the vibes. <laughs> I'm getting used to saying it, guys. Like, I'm natural now. You know the vibes. You know the vibes. 20 minutes in, we ready. So, get you on that dough there. If your dough don't look like this, it ain't right. Stab it on the side just a bit, like so. We're gonna take some oil spray. Oil spray all around. All around, not on top. We're gonna take this, cover this up. We're gonna put this in a nice warm area for 40 minutes, all right? Here we go, oven's preheated at 465. Let's roll up some dough. Dough's nice and proofed. Pour meal. Right sack right in the middle. Okay. Spread it out a bit. Okay. Our beautiful dough. Nice and proofed. Pull it out. Okay. Let's roll this out. That's what I'm gonna do. Flatten it a bit. And I'm not gonna use my roller. You guys want air pockets? I right, then. I'll give you some air pockets. I right, I've, I've been reading comments. This is how you get air pockets, okay? Just fingering your dough. Stretch. Finger, stretch, finger, stretch, finger. No pizza, oh no, no I got it. What is that called? No pizza stone over here. Next our sauce. So last night I made some sauce. I got some extra sauce. If you guys want to know the recipe for the sauce, you guys gotta watch my last pizza recipe. So this is nice and cold already, guys, which what you want. I'm gonna go almost right to the edge there, okay? I see in the comments right now. Oh my God, Quan, you mixing the sauce with the spatula? Oh man, I gotta deduct some points off of that, right? Gotta find something to hate on. <laughs> My G, my guy, I got you. Right to the edge. Shredded mozzarella. Right to the edge as well.
Okay. Fresh mozzarella cheese on it too. Oven's preheated at 465. Bottom second rack. Toss it in 12 to 15 minutes. Keep an eye on it. All right. Don't mind the white cheese, guys. I added a little more cheese. I shouldn't have done it. But I added a little more white cheese on the side just because I was lacking on it. All right. Don't deduct bones off of me. But this crust, guys. Who said in the comments that you need, they quote, no, they, they quoted somebody, but they said you need a pizza stone to get the right texture at the bottom. I'm gonna show you guys, I'm gonna prove you wrong, all right? More signs for this, please. Hear that? Give me a sec. Time to prove you guys wrong, all right? Hear that? Get in on this. Get your eyes on this. Right here. How dare you guys? after Quantran. Okay, somebody in the comment told me I have to wait for this to cool down before I eat into it, all right? I wanna say, okay, thank you. <laughs> but get up on this, I'll show you. Who said that you need a piece of stone to get a nice back crust Nobody say anything, all right? Tie, you guys. <laughs> all right. Who said? Let me show you guys. Let me show you guys. Let me try to flip you guys over. Who said? Ow, ow. Give me a second. Give me a second. Who said? Who said? Let's do this. My G. My guy. How's your back crust now? Huh? How's his back crust now? Do you need a piece of stone to get this beautiful back crust? I don't think so, guys. <laughs> I showed you guys. See? The fold. Do you guys like the fold? It's pretty hot. <laughs> guys, the fold, you guys see the fold? Both sides, it's nice and cool now. Eh, eh, eh. I'll buy this, quick tap. It's got it, nice. Super pumped for this. This is a New York style pizza, I promise you. I better get an apology after this. Super pumped for this. My God. Hmm. What can I say? What am I doing? <laughs> Look at that crust right there. You guys see that? I'll let you zoom in on that. You guys see that? You see that? Back crust? I'm not, I'm not gonna say anything, all right? My God. <laughs>
Hmm? 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 <laughs> How dare you? Look at this. I'll show you. When you guys were complaining about air pockets. You see this? You see the air pocket? You guys see the air pocket in this crust here? Huh? You guys see that? Or am I tripping? Oh, it's right there. <laughs> it's there. That's a beautiful air pocket right there, my friend. My G, my guy. I'll show you this way. How dare you? How dare you? Huh? You got your pocket? Not bad pocket, eh? I'm gonna tell you this. I'm your pizza guy now, alright? Hmm? Crust? Listen to this. You guys hear that? That's a lot of air pockets. What is doing? Yeah. That's a quality dough. Pizza dough right there. This dough right here is my Vietnamese baguette. Yo, on a pizza. I'll show you guys the Vietnamese baguette after that. Right? After I got an apology from all the doubters out there in New York. My guy, either you apologize in the comments there. Or follow me on Instagram here and apologize personally. <laughs> I'm waiting. Is this crust darker? If it's not darker, guys, if you, you guys are not getting a darker crust like this, leave it on for about three more minutes, I'll say. Because every oven is a little different, right? So just check it in 15 minutes in. So it's 15 minutes in, just check the bottom. If it's not dark as you want, go three more minutes. All right, you'll get it. The white cheese around this crust here, I added later on, because I felt like it was lacking some cheese. Yeah. All around, my G. <laughs> My G, is this dark enough crust for you? <laughs> Wait, I'm gonna do the thumbnail. All right, one more slice. I'm gonna show you guys the credentials of a New York style cut. I'm not even from New York, guys. I watch a lot of people eating pizza and just doing my twist, my take on it. And uh, look at this. How many fails? 101 fails already. And I got a bunch of heat. And look at my crust. Look at this back crust now. Look at this. Look at this. <laughs> look at this. The thinness. My G. The bubbles. You guys see the bubbles? Is that a bubble? Yeah, that's a bubble. Those beautiful bubbles. The fold. Nice. Buy this. It's time. What's that? Super awkward. Ah, ah, ah. Mm. My G, my guy. This is a perfect pizza right here. You guys see that bubbles? Hmm. 
Never doubt Contra ever again. All right. <laughs> it's all jokes and fun, guys. But I'm gonna say this was very fun to recreate. Um, fail many times, and I feel like it's only gonna get better after this, guys. This recipe right here, guys. Try it at home. You guys are gonna enjoy it for sure. I want to say it's a piece of New York at your house. <laughs> All right, that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. Peace out.